Thank you very much. Uh, just two minutes up the front and then we'll get cracking into uh, teas and cakes and all other things nice. Uh, thank you very much for taking time out to come and visit us. Um, some of you may know me, I'm Enzo Razzo, but part of this day is so that you get to know some of the other people within ATG. We've all got badges on, um, so it's a time to come and talk to us and share some ideas. Uh, if we could just talk a little bit about ATG. ATG is basically the fusion of product and technology. We've got hundreds of people who do technology, we've got dozens of people who do product, but it's really only ATG that has that uh, amalgam of the two. Um, we've been busy this year. On display at the various stations, you'll see some of the 20 products that we've pushed out to labs. Come and talk to us about some of the academic uh, collaborations that we've got ongoing with some of the world's top universities. Uh, we've even won an award or two. We've worked to try and address the technical debt that uh, Rory has mentioned. Uh, we've worked on system-based activities ranging from uh, everything from neural networks through to our service-oriented uh, architecture attempts. So, that's it. It's not a presentation. There are no slides other than a rolling, this is Romania type thing, which you might want to come and have a look at. Uh, and above all, enjoy and let's talk about the future today. Thank you very much. So what we've done is we've put a lot of our projects, including this one, up onto a website called Assembler. Um, and Assembler is just like um, a website where people join in projects and their own stuff and their own features and upload it. So the idea of this is you can watch the position over multiple markets at once, you can see your PL, you can see things which reflect the market like a non-runner. When you're if you've taken that into consideration, you can click on it, get it out of your view, so then you'll notice that another non runner will stand out more. Um, it's not a really great at the moment, you can see the as well. Um, what else? Oh, and you can really conveniently navigate from here as well. That's a market I'm on. So you can see I'm navigating around quite quickly. So it's just a handy way to encapsulate everything that I'm personally interested in basically was uh, particularly considered useful for it's kind of like it's well so for example one chef is using it for populating the market with lanes on the football uh, goal number of goals uh, it's lays in different order of uh, effectively with different amounts so it's like sliding uh, okay. so you just like placing something like that okay. so for example it's so the exactly the same functionality as the Yahoo uh, Yahoo Messenger is, 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 is the same yes that's right yeah it's yes, the same I mean, we, had a, we had a problem yesterday it works yeah. 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 So you select, if you only want to have an accumulator over one or two races, yeah, you can, that having, you can also skip races, you can yeah. down the first and the last one, whatever. Okay. Uh, well, and then what is left? Uh, and that's the place is normal bets, so you would find the uh, And now where are we looking at like putting this on as a... As a I mean, at the moment, it's not available. Is it available? Is it available? Yeah. Is it available? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
an Excel spreadsheet, similar idea to other things where you can just track track uh, particular markets and automatically make decisions about where to put together to back away uh, particular runners. And client side framework with market based chat, so you can actually have chats with other people about specific um, markets or group, group events. So would you be able to translate that onto something like, um, so maybe where markets that people don't bet so much in, so maybe like the yeah. X Factor or stuff like that, and actually put their pictures yeah, exactly. in those two? Yeah, then that makes yeah. it much easier, it's less yeah. daunting, isn't it? Yeah, that's very true. What are the odds based on? Um, well, the odds, the, odds are the odds are calculated um, using a machine learning technique called neural network. What sort, of, how, what sort of relative factors have to draw? Like, for example, the Man U Liverpool game, does that go back over Liverpool Man U games in particular with the high weighting or uh, well, other ones? Well, how it, well what I've, some of the, the figures that go, the data that goes into the game does include um, previous history of matchups between. Yeah. The two particular teams, and also does include the frequency of draw, the frequency of home wins, the frequency of away wins of the two teams. But yeah. so why it comes out to a particular number is a bit of a mystery. You, know, you don't know what's on the side. But the only thing I do find is that um, the draw is generally within a pretty close range.